<laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Today's story is based on sharing Jesus. Yes, that's right. And the story is called Decisions, Decisions. It's by Jane Landreth. Tears ran down Amy's cheeks as she hurried through the front door. She slammed the door shut behind her. As mom came out of the kitchen, she noticed the tears on Amy's face. Amy, what's wrong? Amy didn't reply as she ran down the hall toward her room. She slammed her bedroom door shut and tossed her book bag on the floor. She picked up her stuffed panda bear and flung herself down on her bed. She hugged her bear so tight. Knock, knock, knock. Mom opened Amy's door and slipped in. Amy, what's wrong? Did something happen at school today, she asked, sitting on the bed. Kelsey's dad left home, Amy explained with a sob. Kelsey has decided has to decide whether she wants to live with her mom or her dad. She doesn't know what to do. She wants to live with them both, and I don't know what to tell her. Mom put her arm around Amy, and Amy put her head on Mom's shoulder. I'm sorry, Amy, Mom said. I know you hurt for Kelsey. Do you want, do you think Jesus hurts for Kelsey too? Amy asked. I know he does, Mom answered. Amy snuggled closer to Mom. Do you think if she asked Jesus that he would help her decide what to do? Amy asked. Yes, Jesus cares about everything that happens to us, Mom replied. He helps us to make our choices. He helps us to do what's right. Jesus will help us when we face big decisions like Kelsey's. And he will also help us in everyday choices we need to make. Does Jesus help you make decisions? Amy asked. All the time, Mom replied. When? Amy looked at her mom with a surprise. Mom smiled. When your dad asked me to marry him, I asked Jesus to help me decide if that was the right thing to do. You know how Jesus answered that. But that was a long time ago, Amy said. Has he helped you decide anything recently? Many times, almost every day, Mom said. Do you remember that only last week I was trying to decide whether to visit our neighbor, Miss Pierce, or go shopping? I asked Jesus to help me choose, and I chose to go see Miss Pierce. Was that when she fell and you found her on the floor and called the ambulance, Amy asked? Yes, and if Jesus hadn't helped me make the right choice, Miss Pierce might have stayed there all day, Mom said. She couldn't reach her phone to call for help. Would Jesus help me make decisions if I ask him? Amy asked. Yes, he will, mom answered. And he will also help you choose between right and wrong. Amy sat quietly looking down at the floor. Does mom know that I wanted to go to the park with Emily and Jose after school yesterday instead of coming straight home? Amy wondered. What do you mean? Amy asked. She wanted to know if her mom knew about her secret decision. Well, when you want to do something wrong, Jesus will help you do what's right, Mom said. When Jackson got into your room and colored in your book, what did you want to do? I wanted to yell at him, Amy said. She thought about her little brother who always wants to play with her things in her room. I was tempted to say something really mean. Should you have done that, Mom said? No, Amy admitted. Besides, I should have put my book and crowns out of reach. Then he wouldn't have been tempted. When you can't decide what to do about Jackson, ask Jesus to help you, Mom said. He will help you make the right choice in any situation. Mom reached for Amy's Bible, which lay on her desk. I like to remember this Bible verse, she said, to turn to 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries to him because he cares for you. Amy hugged her panda bear again. She was glad that when she didn't know what to do, Jesus was there to help her. I'm going to call Kelsey, Amy said. 
she has a difficult decision to make, but I want to tell her about that Bible verse. I will tell her to ask Jesus about her parents and he will help her decide what to do. You see, boys and girls, it's so important that we share Jesus with others every single day because you never know how sharing Jesus with others can help them. So let's remember the memory verse in today's story, 1 Peter 5, 7. And it says to cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Bye, boys and girls. Have a wonderful Sabbath. And remember, share Jesus with someone today.